Well, that was an interesting way to spend a couple of hours. As I say, not really my cup of tea, but a change is as good as rest. So we were going to head back to Lynn Mumbra. I think that's how you pronounce it, for sunset. But as we're driving along the lanes, I realised we were going to miss the best of the light. And you can see over the hills there, some beautiful light coming over. The sun is directly behind us and it's going to dip down below the hills. That sounds like air rescue out. So we pulled in at a place we came to when we were up here before, Lynn, Lynn Darwishan, I think, or Darshwan. I struggled a little bit before and I'm struggling a little bit this time to get a composition that I'm happy with, but I think I've settled on this. So if you give me a second, I'll just whiz you around. Right, so essentially, that's what I've been shooting. Now, I've got a few blown highlights because I've got the 10 stop on, but nothing that's not recoverable in post. It's actually blowing a hooli up the top. Oh, let's see if this is going to focus. There we go. And as quick as that, the light's gone. So yeah, it's actually blowing a gale up there. So I've come down to try and shelter and essentially I'm using the curve of the land coming in from the top left to the, going out at the bottom right of the image. I'm then just concentrating on the hills and the movement in the clouds and the light playing off the hills, which is fabulous. So it's about an hour before sunset. We're not sure if we're going to get any colour, but this is probably as good a spot as we're going to get. Uh, the image that I just got was, let's see, F10. I've moved the ISO up to 200 seconds because it was just being, it was too long an exposure at 100 ISO. And 134.7 seconds. I am using the reverse grad, a 0.6 ND, and the 10 stop. And the reverse grad, oh, that's not looking very good. I can see the chopper. Don't think you'll make him out. You might do. It's about there, I think. It's really difficult when you're back to front on this thing. Or he might be up here a little bit. Well, he's hovering, so he's obviously on a rescue mission, which is really quite sad. Such a glorious day and someone's had a rubbishy end to it. Anyway, I'm going to continue to take some photos. And I'll catch up with you back in the van. This evening was actually a lot more successful than I expected it, other than watching the helicopter, which is not nice. It's a horrible way to see a day end, but hopefully the poor soul or souls are okay. So, Linguisha Guashen, I'll put a name up here, I actually delivered quite well. I found a couple of three compositions that I was reasonably happy, and I did my first ever selfie. <laughs> I'm not a big one for being in the shop when I'm doing landscapes. Apart from the cheesy grin on my face, I think it actually worked quite well. We've headed home, I've had tea, I'm in the van, I'm all snug, the heating's on. I'm actually parked at the side of Lynn Mum Mumba. Again, name up here. I came here before uh, when I did my trip around Wales earlier this year and didn't have any success with the sunrise or the sunset. The sunrise has suddenly moved to 7.30. When did that happen? <laughs> it's like one minute it was four o'clock in the morning, the next minute it's 7.30. Because Andy was going to come and meet me here at uh, six o'clock. And I looked at the forecast and thought, no, 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 no. So fingers crossed we'll get something better in the morning. What a morning. That was completely unexpected, much appreciated, but at no point did it look like we were ever gonna get that sort of color. <laughs> Talk about rush around like a lunatic. 
oh, you can see Snowden and the horseshoe in the background and we've got reflections so I'm really happy the sunrise happened in this direction which is back down towards Kapilkurig and the sky just went completely magenta and it lit everything up everything sort of glowed orange for a minute I thought I'd left the white balance set to 10,000 and then we turned round and I'm not sure if you can see yeah there we go we've got some good cloud detail up there and we had some beautiful colour arcing across the sky and we had reflections so the only issue that I have with this place excuse me I'm just checking an exposure is there is so much foreground it's I find it really difficult to get a nice composition so I suspect the clone tool will be coming in handy I fired off <laughs> if there's a hole Andy's gonna find it um, where was I? Yes, fired off a couple of shots in that direction, which I'm kind of happy with the composition. And then legged it over to here to try and find another composition. Oh! And did I mention the mist on the water? <laughs> I am having a couple of senior moments this morning. <sighs> I've set on what I thought was a long exposure. Trundled off to get my camera bag, which I'd abandoned down there. And I came back and I hadn't set it. <laughs> hey ho, never mind. So I've got a long exposure doing it then. The shots that I was doing down here were at F10, I think, and probably around two seconds. But the whole place just glowed. It was absolutely amazing. And after yesterday morning's lack of a sunrise, this was just phenomenal. And you can see there is just a little bunch of clouds sat over the top of Snowden. Beautiful reflections. So, ah, wonderful, wonderful morning. And the sun is just beginning to catch. And just see Snowden starting to illuminate. So much better conditions than when I was here last time. So anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and I crack on. Well, after the excitement of this morning, which as I say, well, ooh, excuse me, was completely unexpected. I thought I'd be a little bit more serious for a couple of minutes. There's been an awful lot said in the press just recently about mental health and mental health awareness. I work in the motor industry and, excuse me, my arm's aching. We've just had um, Ben in. Oh, look at that mist. Oh, uh, we've just had a talk from Ben, which is the Motor Industries charity, stressing the importance of essentially being able to chill and relax. And if it gets too much to go and talk to somebody, to not be afraid of coming across as weak or a loser. There's still a stigma attached to, uh, to mental health. It affects... I think it's one in four people at some point in their lives and I know from experience that depression is not a good place. A few years back, um, I'm talking sort of ooh, 15 years ago, I was in a very bad place. There was various things going off in my life that I just couldn't cope with and I ended up on um, tablets to help. I ended up stopping the tablets because they, I don't know whether it's the wrong dose or the wrong type, because there are different types of antidepressants or happy pills as people call them. They got me to the point where I could quite happily have walked out in front of the traffic and really not cared. And at that point I was strong enough to think no, 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 no. And I've been fine for quite some time. 
it still rears its ugly head every now and then. And being a woman of a certain age, I'm sorry, you guys out there, it's come down on me again. And it was through talking to a colleague at work who's going through the same thing that the penny suddenly dropped and I thought, ah, I know what this is. So off I pulled to the doctors and long story short, I'm on tablets, a very, very low dose, just enough to take the edge off and I feel a million percent better. But for me, what works even better than tablets is this. You really can't underestimate the health benefits, the feeling of well-being by getting out. You don't have to go far, go to a park, go to your local river, go to your local reservoir, go to your local hill. Even in built-up areas, you, you'll have green spaces. Get out of bed early, go sit and watch the sunrise come up. It really does have an amazing effect on you. For those few minutes, you just forget about everything and you get caught up in watching the colours. Sunrise is at quite a sensible time these days. As I said last night, half past seven, where did that come from? But do it, just get up, self-help, is a great way to go and male or female don't be frightened to talk to people talk to a colleague talk to a friend bend their ear but this being out when it's like this even being out in the rain it really does lift your spirits so that's it that's all i'm going to say on the subject well, thank you for watching this has been the most amazing morning. I don't know if we're going to stop on the way home. I don't know what the plan is from here, but I'm really not bothered if I don't take another photo today. This morning has made the whole weekend absolutely worthwhile. So thank you for watching. Thanks for all the comments and subscriptions. I will try harder this week to keep up with the comments. And I will catch you all on the next one. Bye.